In this video, we will learn how to renew your NIE card or student residence permit in Spain, which is valid for no more than three months. Or in other words, that card which is expiring in the next three months. So let's get started. There are two different ways of renewing your card. Uh, first of all, I will go through uh, the process in which we can do in-person renewal so we will be looking just behind this green line uh, and then I will let you know what are the advantages of uh, choosing online uh, versus uh, doing it in person so in person you would need to make an appointment with extranjeros office or immigration office this appointment is usually done weeks in advance Second step, you would submit all the required documents, including but not limited to City Hall Registration, Ayuntamiento. It's kind of optional, but it is a good practice that you attach this, which by the way can also be done online. So in my case, since I lived in Oviedo, I submitted my application through the Sede Electronica and I sent my application or filled out form to this email. So let me show you how it looks like. This is only in case of Oviedo, so in case you live in Madrid or any other city, I do not know about it. So my best advice is to find out your uh, closest locality where you can do the Ayuntamiento or City Hall registration and look up on their website if they have an email and if they have a form that you can fill out and send to their email along with your passport copy. So this is what I did in my case, so I'm trying to share my experience here. Oviedo, uh, this is the form that I filled out. I put the address here. You can uh, take help from any of your Spanish colleagues or friends. They will let you know what to fill in and it's individual, that's what I did. And here was my signature, here was my date and probably why do I want it? I think I wrote that for the immigration or extranjeros office um, the extension. I want this and these are some other um, conditions that you will be filling out. So along with this form and your passport copy, you will send it on this email in case you live in Oviedo. It took them uh, one and a half hour for me to process and they sent me the registration certificate to my email. Um, I sent it at 8 a.m. and I received my answer back at 9.30 a.m. Uh, within, of course, these timings, of course. Uh, if they were not open, they wouldn't be able to send me their reply in these hours. So as it was open at 9 a.m., so literally they took half an hour to process my application via email. So it is quite quick uh, if you wish to do it um, online. Passport picture um, or, or uh, white background DNI card picture. So it's a small picture with a white background. It's colored. Then a university letter that states the duration of your study or your active student status. Uh, Spanish residence permit, uh, that same permit that you are looking uh, forward to renew, which is no, uh, which is valid no more than three months your medical insurance certificate or letter. These two documents were not listed, but according to my experience and uh, learning, I think these two documents are a good practice when you submit along with your application so that you don't have to um, uh, wait for another uh, procedure uh, to be carried out. For example, I had a friend who did not submit these two documents then Office of uh, Immigration sent her the resolution after a month and was asked. she was asked to produce these two documents and then she went back. She made another appointment, of course, she had to wait for weeks in advance. She then went back and then submitted these two documents and had to wait for another two months for her resolution to be ready. So in her case, because of these two documents, she had to wait until this step for about three months uh, and this is this wasn't a of course good thing for her uh, so it is a good practice that you put these documents together when you are submitting your application uh, to the extranjeros office so medical certificate by a gp that would state that you are in a healthy condition and you don't have any um, 
transmittable diseases. For medical certificate, by the way, you can ask help from your university administrational office or a colleague, uh, which they can send you a template. Uh, or, uh, you can bring that paper. For example, here I was given this by one of my university colleagues or administrational staff they gave me this template and asked me to print it out and bring it to a GP so that he or she can fill it out so that's what I did I didn't do anything like I didn't write anything so this was the template you can also follow that basically it was um, accepted by the extra heroes office um, so it's quite good if you want to follow it you can also make it by yourself it's quite easy you just type it in your uh, in word form and uh, print it out uh, so it just states that which doctor the registration number would be needed doctor will fill it out for you uh, your name and i think your id card or passport number um, and the locality like Oviedo or Madrid or Barcelona or whatever and the date and then the signature and the stamp of the medical doctor who have filled it and this certificate is usually valid for 90 days this is what it states you can choose what to do with it and that is why I just wanted to uh, quickly uh, give you a hint on how it looks like back to the video and uh, then you can also submit police character certificate from Spain you can get it from the Ministry for, uh, of Justice or Ministerio de Justicia uh, or any other countries that you have been living for more than three months payment or so-called taxes or TASA it is this code 790 underscore 052 uh, payment for this procedure or the renewal or of extension is 17.32 euros and you will also fill out this application the uh, renewal of extensions uh, it is ex-00 uh, coded and then passport you need to print all pages um, so you need to copy your whole passport and bring that with you after you attend your appointment you would have to wait for one to two months for your resolution one being the idealistic and it usually take two months then third step after you get your resolution that yes it is positive and they give you a green signal or a go to do your fingerprints with policia office you can now move forward to step three which is officina policia uh, appointment or cnp policia appointment for fingerprints it is also done weeks in advance so this time can add up to all this uh, procedure extension then number four is that you attend your appointment along with the following documents again you would need your passport one dni size or uh, spanish national id card size colored picture these are the um, lengths 32 by 26 millimeter and it should be with the white background your nie card or residence permit uh, it is not needed if applying for the first time uh, because when you have a visa and you come to the country very first time you do not have this card you have a visa on your passport so this card won't be needed uh, when you are doing it the first time but if you are renewing it then yes it would be needed okay then you also need to fill out an application form uh, for this office it is this coded so ex17 or so called appointment for fingerprinting uh, payment that you need to pay as a tax or tasa uh, code uh, for this payment is 790-012 uh, and it is 17.3 euros 32 euros approximately and then you do also have to produce city hall registration or Ayunta Mianto uh, certificate which is issued in the past three months. Extra Heros or immigration resolution that was just issued to you, you know, after this uh, you got the resolution. So you also need to bring that resolution with you. It is necessary in case of renewable applicants, but if you are uh, entering a country the first time then of course you won't need this since you would have your initial visa issued by extra and heroes office anyway then um, uh, wait for 45 days for the card to be ready 
and number fifth meanwhile when you are waiting you can make an appointment for your NIE card collection with the same CNP Policia office and this appointment is also done weeks in advance because it's quite busy again number six attend the appointment along with the following documents so you would need a receipt renewal receipt you would have received it when you attended your fingerprints appointments uh, uh, appointment from CNP Policia so remember we went here so by the end of this process you would have received your renewal receipt so you would need to keep it for another 45 days and bring it along with other documents when you go and collect your NIE card uh, again if you are renewing your application for NIE card you would need expired NIE card with you then you would need passport and of course your fingers for fingerprints that's just a joke but yes uh, all these things would be needed at this stage you would receive your NIE card finally and this all process that we have mentioned would require you for approximately four months to be completed now on the other hand you have an option to do half of the process online prerequisites for the online process is that you should have a digital certificate or so-called auto firma uh, signature uh, certificate as well and remember in the first stage you needed office in extra and heroes appointment that was also booked weeks in advance you don't need appointment do, do not need appointment for this office uh, when you are doing it online uh, about the prerequisites by the way if you don't know what digital certificate and auto firma is then you need to go ahead and watch my both of these videos that I have created and I would put these videos links in the description of this video so that you can come back to this video knowing that what I'm talking about so let's uh, keep moving you don't need appointment for the first step and same documents would be required in this part again but you would need digital copy so digital copy of your full passport you would fill your application digitally you can pay this uh, to any ATM in Spain uh, which accepts the taxes and then you can scan it and then upload it in the system police character certificate of course you would scan it and upload it medical certificate you would scan and upload medical insurance you would have it in PDF or scan and upload same thing you would scan and upload it scan upload um, scan upload and scan upload so all those documents would be digitally presented in your online application here if you remember you had to wait one to two months for your resolution to be prepared by the Officina Extra and Heros but best thing you do not need to wait for one month or longer in this case because after submitting your online application along with all correct documentation and payment received it would take approximately one week in my case it took only four days to prepare and upload your resolution in the online system so they will not send you in your mailbox it will instead be uploaded in the online system that you're applying from and you can then print this and move on with the next steps unfortunately next steps are all the same so there is no possibility of doing your fingerprints online so let me just read it for you all these things as you can see as I have selected this thing all this is still the same and not available online yet maybe one day in future it would also be possible to do online but for the time being we need to do this part in person in a traditional way so again you can check it you can take all the screenshots how would you do your policia part and that would still that would still save you two months compared to what you do in person as you could see it was four months but when you do half of the process online I mean this half here you know this line is for you to understand that after this line there is no difference between in-person and online because this is still done the same way traditional way 
but before this little horizontal line you can check that you can do this in person and it will cost you one to two months you can you will have to pay same money same documents everything but then you can do it online and would save for about two months here uh, because it is quite quick if you are doing it in a correct way and then of course uh, follow the same steps as uh, as you would in your normal way so like in-person appointment which would still save you two months and it's like a 50% reduction uh, of the waiting period you would save like 50% of your time so I hope you like this video and in the next one I am thinking to going into a, a bit more details on how especially this part is done so I will be speaking about this part to be specific I mean this part okay so yes in the next video I will be um, speaking about this one so stay tuned if you have any questions please reach out to me in the comments section and I will try my best to answer you um, so yes we will talk about this process in the next video and hopefully uh, everything else is now clear to you see you in the next one